Hello, my name is Sara Rodriguez and I'm um, carrying out my thesis in the photostability of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, in circum and interstellar environments under the supervision of Christine Joblan and Fernand Spiegelman in Toulouse. So I'm, I'm especially interested in what happens after a VUV photon is absorbed by a PAH. So it can either lose an electron and become ionized or it can fragment and lose H, H2 or C2H2 or other molecules or it can lose this energy by relaxation. But these, these mechanisms, mechanisms are still not fully understood. So this is why laboratory astrophysics is important in order to make here on Earth kind of similar conditions as what will happen in space. So in this contribution, I, study, I present the study of the dissociation of two isomeric pH cations and their uh, synchrotron experiments and theoretical calculations. So we chose these two molecules because even though they have the same number of carbons and hydrogens, this one is planar, while this one is not, because there are two hydrogens here kind of like annoying each other. So this non-planarity is due to the steric hindrance of these two hydrogens. So first, we trapped these molecules in a linear ion trap, and we saw that under the, in, under the incidence of VUV photons of eight electron volts onwards, the non-planar molecule starts losing one and two hydrogens at lower energies than the planar one. You see here the energy threshold for the dehydrogenation. So we, we carried out theoretical calculations with density functional theory and we confirmed these lower energetics for the non-planar molecule. Especially, we found a favorable H2 loss path in which the non-planar molecule loses these two hydrogens and then becomes planar and forms this stable five-member ring. This is especially important because H2 is the most abundant molecule in space. So understanding its formation or the waste where it can come from it's paramount for astrophysics. Et voilà.